Hey, I just pre-ordered the Steam Deck because I think Xbox Game Pass will be pretty awesome on it. Really? Yeah, why wouldn't I? It's gonna be amazing! One year later. I know it's been about a year, but my Steam Deck finally came in and I got an Xbox Game Pass on it. Wow, that's totally awesome. Yeah, do you wanna see it? Yeah, I'd love to! The first thing that I thought about when Valve announced the Steam Deck was that I need to get it and get Xbox Game Pass working on it. So, of course, you know, as soon as I did get my Steam Deck, I installed Game Pass on it. Well, I guess technically it's not Game Pass, it's the beta for cloud gaming, but nonetheless, you can actually play Xbox games on the Steam Deck. Ever since I got Game Pass to work, I've actually been really enjoying it. I could literally not have any Steam games in my library, and there's still games that I can play that don't cost any extra. I really have been enjoying this, whether it's sitting down and playing Power Wash Simulator, or even going back and playing some of the Xbox 360 backwards compatible games on there, like Skate 3, which I've been loving. The Steam Deck really just is able to handle everything that I've thrown at it from cloud gaming. Now, occasionally, if my Wi-Fi isn't very good, it'll lag for a second, but that is usually like two or three seconds and then everything catches up and then everything is fine again. But I will say it has froze like once or twice, maybe during like a two hour period, which isn't really that big of a deal. But if you have better internet connection, that's probably better off. So if you're on like really bad Wi-Fi, you might want to second guess this thing. Enough about that. Let's talk about actually getting Xbox games to work on your Steam Deck. First off, down below in the description is a link to how I did it on my Steam Deck from GameSpot. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that, but this is just how I did it, and it was relatively self-explanatory. It's actually pretty easy to get Xbox Game Pass working on the Steam Deck. You just have to go into the desktop mode, then you have to find the internet browser Edge, then you add that to Steam as a non-Steam game and modify that a little bit to show how you want it to start up and where to go when it does start up. And then for the most part, that's pretty much it. It doesn't take too much work. It's pretty easy and you could probably do it within like five to 10 minutes. If you're trying to follow along on a video, you might take a little bit longer, but it was really actually pretty easy. And then once it's done, you can just log in and every time you boot it up again, you're gonna stay logged in and then you'll just play the games. It's really, really simple. Once it is loaded up, it really just looks like Xbox Game Pass if you've played on the Xbox One or maybe the Series X or even the PC. It's really easy. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about the Steam Deck is how easy it is to do other weird things to it, like Xbox Game Pass. You can scroll through the games like normal, whether it's an indie game you're looking for, a horror game, whatever it is, if you just go into the app and you launch it, it's really right there and everything that's within Game Pass is there for you to use, which is one thing that I love. This worked out great. It was really easy. You don't have to be very technical. You just have to be able to follow instructions. And then you can have Game Pass working and it's like free games. There's some games that I've been playing like Power Wash Simulator that are like 20 or 25 bucks on the Steam OS. But if I go over to the Game Pass, it's already there. So I can just boot it up and play it. Which I will say I have been doing that a lot lately. And that's one reason that this idea even was sparked. Game Pass is something that I think you should definitely check out if you have a small Steam library, or maybe you already have Game Pass. I think with Ultimate, it's only a dollar extra, so you should probably at least try it out for a month for only one dollar. I mean, if you've got a Steam Deck, why not try it? But enough about that. What do I think about this? I think this is a great thing for the Steam Deck. Cause like I said, I don't have a big Steam library. I've got maybe 10 games in there. I've just never been a PC gamer, but this is something that really helped me. It was something where I didn't have to go out and spend a lot of money. I already had Game Pass. It was a dollar a month. So I just went ahead and got it set up. 
and my Steam Deck allowed me to play it day one. I didn't have to buy anything extra and everything about that I think is really awesome. It's really nice playing these games on the go because yes, you can hook it up to a TV, whether you're using an external controller or a mouse and keyboard, or you can hook it up to the TV and still use it in handheld mode as a controller. So whatever way you want to do it, this is a great way to utilize the Steam Deck. Whether or not you're highly technical or you've barely even touched a computer before, I think Xbox Game Pass is something you should definitely get working on your Steam Deck because it is pretty awesome. Where else can you play Xbox games portably? Now I guess you could buy a screen for the Xbox One or the Xbox Series, but who really wants to do that? Obviously, you have to have a Steam Deck beforehand, but the form factor, everything about this, I think is really cool. Even if you have problems with the controls, you can always go back to the Steam OS controller layout and change things around. That way it works better for you. I've done this on a few games where I've changed it and then had to reset it because the games are a little different. But overall, it's actually pretty easy to do. It's easy to map the buttons. And I think all of this just works out really well. I was kind of thinking that this would be pretty hard to do, but it's pretty simple, which is why I made this video in the first place. I think the Xbox Game Pass is perfect for the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is amazing on its own, but being able to add an extra library of games is just way better. It's really cheap for the first month, so you can buy it for a dollar and test it out and see if you like it or not, and figure out whether your Wi-Fi and your connection is good enough for it to play games on the cloud. But other than that, this is a thing that you should probably look into because it's a ton of fun and I know I've wasted way too much time playing Xbox games while I had it. Now I will say, the cloud gaming is in beta and also you can't play with two accounts or at least I haven't figured out how to yet because I can't be playing and my wife can't be playing on the same game pass but that's probably just the way I have things set up but overall I really enjoy this and I hope you can tell by this video but for the most part I'm gonna go back to playing my Steam Deck so check out that video and give me some likes subscribes and all of that stuff but I'm really blown away with how well this does work. So I'm going to get out of here. Check that video out.